morning it is currently 6 26 i literally have a report time of 7 at 7 27 and i need to leave here at 6 45 i need to brush my teeth i need to do a little bit of makeup do my edges and run out the door i'm gonna call my uber for 6 45 um mind you i have my car here now but i haven't gotten a parking pass <laughs> yet so i need to stop playing but yeah i'm gonna do some light makeup this morning and do our edges wash my face i just i need a girl wash your face i got my nails done and my lashes done obviously but my nails super cute you know they're chill basic brow but i haven't had my nails or my lashes done in like so 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 long so i feel like i'm getting back to myself i'm in the crash pad right now um I so I need to be a little bit quiet um and maybe one day like if you guys are interested I'll give you like a tour of my crash pad being mindful of others that live here because obviously other people live here too guess where my trip is guess 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 it's out of the country but I'm gonna run general I'm going to I'm going to Costa Rica Costa Rica. Excited. I've never been to Costa Rica before. One of my friends was telling me that they have really good, like, I guess they have such a widespread of tropical birds there. So a lot of people go there for, like, bird watching. Trap these bad boys up. Nars concealer, per use. Go to the goat. I almost, so I was like packing my bag last night around 7 p.m., right? And I almost forgot to pack a bathing suit. I would have been so, so, so beyond pissed if I had gotten all the way to Costa Rica and I didn't have no goddamn bathing suit. Where the hotel is, it's not by any beach, like it's very much landlocked, but there's still a pool. There's still a pool at the hotel. And hopefully, like, I haven't looked at their weather, but hopefully it's good. I'm assuming that it's good. It's freaking Costa Rica. Flight is, like, five hours. I hate those long flights like that. Not that I hate them. They're just, like, well, not to be working. Everybody else gets to sleep on the plane, not me, though. It was kind of hard at first, like, conditioning my body to um, get used to, like, not immediately falling asleep on a plane. Because when you're riding, when I was riding as passenger, or when I ride as passenger, I just knock right the freak out. Like, I go straight to bed, girl. Straight to bed. I just like let my concealer sit on my skin for like a minute or so. That's why I like did my eyebrows after I put my concealer on so that I could get tacky. Um, I'm sure there's a method for it. Just because like, you know, you kind of want your product to dry down a little bit. So that it doesn't like pick up mostly on your brush if you guys didn't know. That's a little makeup tip. Let your concealer dry down just a little bit before like blending it in and I only put it underneath my eyes and like around my mouth and on my like dark spots and problem areas because I have bags like I have some fucking not bags but dark marks dark spots under my eyes like cause a girl be tired so we just put the concealer underneath our eyes just to like make us look like we're awake and on my mouth because it's a darker area for me and in our blush I'm sorry and voila we are done with our makeup now I gotta brush my teeth Okay, the lift is ordered and I'm just gonna grab a couple snacks 
I'll be getting hungry on that plane. Uh, what do I want? I have some special K bars. I want that. Some like crisps. I like these. And I'm gonna bring a Laura bar. I've never tried these before. What flavor is this? Peanut butter chocolate chip. I'll see what that's talking about. But yeah. And then my Uber's gonna be here in like eight minutes. So I'm gonna go with that person and go to the airport. We're going out of terminal A today, which is weird. Because most of our flights are out of terminal C. Yeah. We are in Costa Rica. Boop, 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 boop. I'll give you guys a quick room tour. Door, closet. And of course, you know, we already did our safety checks. Um, bathroom. Pretty chill. Pretty standard. Um, and I got two beds. TV. Here. And this is the view. I mean, that's kind of ugly, but you can see the mountains and the clouds, and that's really nice. Okay, Costa Rica is you. Okay, let me tell y'all what happened today. The flight itself, it was five hours, was fine, um, pretty chill, no issues. But the issue when, was when we were boarding the plane. So this morning, you know, I told you guys I was going to bring like a little snack bar, breakfast bar, for my breakfast so that I could eat on the plane, right? Um, I put my stuff on the plane because, you know, flight attendants, obviously, we board the plane first. We do our safety checks. Um, I put my two breakfast bars on the jump seat. Um, on the jump seat. And I know exactly where I put, it, put them. They were not going to fall. They were not going to, like, it's not like I lost them. So I left the galley area to like help um, with boarding and like putting bags away and everything like that. When I come back and like, there's people who are like already using the bathroom. If you're one of those people who uses the bathroom as soon as you get on the plane, why? Please comment down below because I really don't understand. Like you guys have plenty of time. Some people don't, I realize like some people who are rushing to the gate, but y'all be having plenty of time to use the restroom before you come to the plane. I don't get it anyway so there was like a bunch of people already in the galley area while we're boarding um to use the restroom and i think one of those people took my breakfast bars because i came back and they were gone they were literally gone i was like looking high and low they didn't fall in between the cracks of the jump seat they didn't fall down they weren't on the side somebody literally stole my breakfast bars and I was just appalled I was really taken aback by that because what did I do to you you know but that's the problem with some passengers is like they see something that's on the plane and they just think it's theirs like now if I pass out because I ain't have no sustenance on this flight yeah anyways so that was that whole thing it's over though it's fine we're in costa rica i'm gonna go to the pool and sit off get a little tan or whatever i told y'all i almost forgot to pack a suit a uh, bathing suit i would have been pissed oh i would have been pissed um also i did not pack properly for this trip because like, like my crew members were talking about um wanting to go downtown i'm like downtown i don't got no downtown clothes I didn't bring no downtown clothes, but right now, why would you not bring downtown clothes? Like, you're going to Costa Rica. Any new city that you go to, you need to bring downtown clothes. You need to bring club clothes or going out looking cute clothes. That's another thing. I'm really new into this flight attendant stuff, so I need to learn how to properly pack a bag, um, my suitcase, when I'm on these trips. I'm going to get out of my uniform so i'm like if i do things now but i kind of want to take it in
<laughs> All right, y'all. I'll update you. Okay, so we are technically at the pool, but one, um, there's not, like there's sun, but this is the most, I'm willing, because <laughs> it's, it's not too hot today, but I know this Costa Rica sun is probably crazy, because it's right by the heat, like the equator, but also, I'm like a little hesitant on going into the pool, because nobody's in the pool, like I'm the only person at the pool, but there's a lot of people that are sitting at the restaurant and the restaurant is like surrounding the pool i'm like i don't want to be these people's entertainment <laughs> i don't want to like splish splash in the pool and all these people at dinner is looking at me like i'm crazy i have my little book here it's actually very much not little i'm reading a little life annotating it a little bit not a little bit um I'm on page 215. I think I'll just sit off and read my little book for a bit. And when maybe less people leave the restaurant, maybe that's when I'll go in the pool. Because I don't know. I don't want to be a spectacle. <laughs> don't perceive me. Don't perceive me. Okay. Had a good time at the pool. Chatted with one of my working crew. Um crew members. Now we're gonna head downtown, see what the downtown city is like, downtown life is like, and yeah. Okay, Let's see what these edges are looking like. Ooh, ooh. Okay now. All right, good morning everybody. It's the next day. I had a lot of sleep, thank God, because it was a nice little layover, 19 hours, got to do some things, and then got a full night's worth of sleep. You can't ask for any more than that, you know? Um, I, it's currently 6 o'clock, the van time is at 6.15, my hotel room is right by the elevator, thank god. So I'm gonna walk out of here at 6.05 and head down to the van, um, and then I have like I was saying last night, I have two legs today, one to Houston, and then from Houston back to my base, Newark. Um, both th three and a half hours. Hopefully they're both really chill flights. They seem like they'll be chill. I feel like the definitely the one from Houston to Newark will be. Knock on wood. <laughs> this is the really wood. Knock on wood. Look at this bread. Let's go to work. Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, you know what? I'm deciding that this is going to be a week in the life of a flight attendant because I'm on reserve. I've been on reserve for the past three days. I went to Costa Rica. We talked about that. And now I've been assigned a new trip. I'm going to I have two legs today um, from Newark to Houston, then Houston to Tulsa, Oklahoma. 30 hour layover in Tulsa. And then I think two legs on the way back. Can't remember where. But, um... Yeah, 30 hour layover in Tulsa. What am I supposed to do for 30 hours in Tulsa? Um, anyways, I'm currently getting ready. My report time is at 3.10. It's currently 2.17. I'm going to leave my crash pad at 2.40. Um, because I'm like super close to the airport. Love that for me. We got the, the shirt and the pants on today. Um, because I need to wash my dress. <clears throat> so I'm currently packing. It looks a mess. I need to find a better system for packing because it's like really all over the place. I know I already talked about that, but like it's seriously something that's starting to bother me a little bit because it's always like a process. And I feel like obviously it's something that I do every day, so I'm going to need to like create more of a system. Good morning. Um. I'm in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We got in around 12 last night and I took my makeup off and I went to bed because a girl was tired. Um, the flight was like, honestly, it was super short. It was only like an hour and five minutes and um, it was pretty bumpy. So we didn't have like a full service. Like the pilot was like, I was just gonna have to like take your jump seats pretty early, blah blah. But right now, 
I'm about to get up, get ready, go to the gym. Um, because I'm on my like health kick, my little fitness girl kick. You know, it comes in waves for me, but I'm trying to really, I'm gonna really make it stay this time. We gonna work out, okay? We gonna get this body right. Wait, before I go, I have a question. I have a question for the other flight attendants if you're watching this. What do you do when you see a pretty um, good looking passenger? Do you like slide them your number on a napkin? Do you like talk to them? Wait for them to come to your galley? Like I need to know, I need to be slick. I need to work on like if a customer, if a passenger is cute, like. Okay, I'm back in bed. Um, there was too many people in the, in the little hotel gym. <laughs> I didn't feel like recording. You know, there's only supposed to be like one person in there and it's just supposed to be you. But there was three people in there, including me. And it was small and I just was like, nah. But I did arms and core. Um, and I walked on the treadmill for about 15 to 20 minutes. And yeah, and I'm just like, just trying to go to bed. Had some breakfast downstairs in the hotel lobby, and um, yeah, I'm sleepy. I was planning on doing something in Tulsa, but what is Tulsa like? Someone please tell me like what there is to do around Tulsa because I feel like I want to just take a nap and then I'll get up and do some exploring. I'm currently getting ready. I just got out the shower. Um, I decided to go to a museum after all. Um, I want to go to an art museum. I'm just going to walk around though. And I'm just going to do the same makeup routine that I did earlier on in the video because whenever I go on trips, I don't want to like carry around a full bag of makeup because I have a lot. Um, and I just don't want to carry the whole thing around. Like it adds extra weight and... I'm okay with doing something slight. Question. I've been like, have you guys like listened to um, Doja Cat's new album? Do you like it? I like it. You know, um, I do know that like she was like, oh, I'm going to have a different sound and blah, blah, blah. Some of the songs are like, they're not the same sound, especially as like Planet Her, because Planet Her was very poppy and I like I liked a couple songs from Planet Her, but I really didn't care for Planet Her all like that. Um but Planet Her was super poppy, super like mainstream and I was just like, okay, like some of these songs are cute, but like I don't really care for it. But this album, I'm like, okay, she definitely did her sound is definitely not different i feel like it's the sound that she's always wanted to do but like with planet her she wanted more popularity so that's why and like who knows the behind the scenes with like record labels and everything like that so she probably had to make songs like that because of her record label or whoever she was signed to but now she's doing what she want to do and i like that um i even liked <laughs> I even liked the demons video. I thought it was like very cinema, cinema talk, cinema, cinema graphic, cinema. I thought it was good cinema, <laughs> cinematography, cinema graphic, cine graphic, cinematography. Girl, why can't I figure? It was very cinematic, cinematic, girl. So I've been bumping that. I bumped that when I was working out. Do I want to put on blush? Hurry up, answer in the comments. Answer in the comments, do I want to put on blush or not? <laughs> Got this tart. What's the what's the shade? Berry. Okay, you guys want in the comments. Looks like watch it be <laughs> That's fine. I won. Um, I'm putting it on. And it's like super like super pigmented so that's why I like wipe it off a little bit on the rim first before I put on my face because it's so much look at me look at me you looking 
Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna get my little filler toast. We're gonna check her out, see what she's talking about. Okay, so it's a little awkward because it's a Monday and a lot of things are closed. Um, like first I wanted to go to this thing, this art museum, it was called Philbrook <clears throat> Art Museum. And like they had the driver from the hotel, which was really nice, basically free. Um, he took me to the Philbrook Art Museum, but it was closed. So then he's like, oh, well, I can take you to Green, Green, I think it's called Greenwood, this area is, um, with where Black Wall Street was before the 1921 um, Tulsa Massacre. Um, and I was going to go to a museum and like see all this stuff because I wanted to like know more about the Tulsa Massacre and it's closed too. I'm like, man. But I'm here on like Black Wall Street, where Black Wall Street was, and I'm just gonna like walk around and see what's open. Hopefully, I'll find a couple things. And yeah. Okay, so I am back. I have changed into some pajamas because I'm honestly just going to chill for the rest of the day. It's 4 o'clock. Um, I had a chill time. Almost everything was closed. Like, if you want to come to Tulsa, don't plan to do anything on a Monday. Even though it's a weekday, ain't nothing open. Okay, so I also really wanted to show you guys um, a couple of things that I bought because I found a shop that was right across from that museum um, that was open and I bought a couple things in there. I went to the this bookstore that was like a block or so down and I bought a couple things from there, like little trinkets and I just wanted to show you guys my little haul real quick. All right, so first I got this little shot glass. This is Black Wall Street. 1921 was the year of the massacre, I think. Yeah, it definitely was. So I got this because my grandma likes me to get her shot glasses from the places that I go. So yeah, that's for Nana. And then I got this magnet that's the exact same. Like Black Wall Street, blah, blah, blah. This is a magnet for my mom because my mom likes me to get her magnets for places that I go. And then this is this little sticker for me. I'm like really obsessed with stickers and I got some more stickers too. So I went to Magic City Books. That was the bookstore that I saw. And they had like these cute little book pins. And I got this one for my sister. Their eyes were watching God. She really liked that book. And then I got myself this one because this, The Alchemist, is literally my favorite like book it has helped me I literally read it like every six months I love this book so I had to get this pin and then I got a couple of stickers you're so golden and the future is ahead because I love stickers like I just said so yeah that's basically everything that I got from 
my trip to Tulsa, Oklahoma. <laughs> So like I said, I'm just going to chill in bed, edit my Rome vlog, which is now up. If you haven't watched that, definitely go watch it because it was a good time. And um, just chill for the rest of the day. My report time tomorrow is like, I think it's like 6 a.m. Actually, let me check. Let me, let me check. One second, please. Thanks. So my report time tomorrow is at 6.20 in the morning. Oh, 6 20. Um, so I'm gonna wake up. What time should I wake up tomorrow? Our but our van leaves at 5 45. I think I'll wake up at 5. I'm gonna set my alarm for 5 a.m. and I'll see you guys in the morning.